Hi, welcome to this new tutorial. We will learn how to create a water level for our displacement and with a control so you can change the level easily and the color, roughness and height will adapt to that height. And let's get started. So we will start with a plane. We will change to cycles. In my case, I will change this to GPU compute, this to experimental, the subdivisions in the viewport to one, the shading now. We will create a new material, go to material properties and change in settings, pump only to displacement. Here you can add a displacement node. And you connect this. The first uh, thing we are going to do is to create our terrain. Okay, so we will start with a coordinate. I will use UV in this case. Uh, I will use a uh, noise texture. Let's see this. decrease the size the scale I will use a range the noise texture outputs uh, values from 0 0.25 to 0 0.75 so we will change that here so that our range goes from 0 to 1 and we use the full range of the noise texture we can start by plugging we would we have to go to render view at this point, I have to put the mid-level here. Mid-level at zero, so it starts there. If you put at 0 0.5, you will have, this will be like the middle of the displacement. And plug the height. The other thing we have to do is, since we don't have enough geometry here, we have to add a subdivision surface. In this case, we will use simple and adaptive. As you can see now, we have values that goes, this is 0 and this is 1. This has to do with the roughness, for example. If we take this all down, you will see that, that our range goes from 0 to 1. Then we can add detail to it, so it looks more like mountains. We can adjust a bit the roughness. I want to bring this a bit more to the floor, so we have something that uh, when we use the water level, we will start at zero, basically, uh, height. So what uh, we can do here is to multiply, uh, add a math node and subtract a bit from this. around there. This will depend on the surface, but at least it's closer to the zero. And we can also play a bit with the scale here. And we can change this to 4D and we have a seed here and you can change it to have different results. Okay, we will start with this. You can also plug the principal BSDF to have a bit of shading and understand what you're doing. And now we will take care of the water here. So we will add a value now. And we will use this as our height of the water level. So we can start with maybe 0 0.4. To mix these two, this will this will be a plane at uh, 0 0.4 in height. So if we mix those two, but we do it with a maximum, it will always use uh, the maximum value from both inputs so in this case 
uh, everything that is below 4 will will uh, become 4 0 0.4 sorry and we will use this as our height as you can see we already have our level there our water level and you can adjust 0 0.45 it will go up 0 0.35 will go down now we will see how how we can use this information to mix our color and our roughness we will start with a mix rgb now then we will create uh, we will use uh, another math node and we will set this to greater than and we will say that where these values, our height of the mountain, are greater than the values of the water, we will have uh, white, and below that we will have black. This way we create a mask that separates the water from the uh, land, and if you change the water level it will also change we can use that as a mask for the color for example you can use that as a factor and we will have uh, the color of the land uh, on the bottom and the color of the water on the top so now we we pick uh, a color for the mountain then we duplicate this and we will add our roughness here so in this case what we're going to do is to create some sort of wet map i will duplicate this i will use this value and i will say that uh, from my water level and i will create another value with a very small number I will explain this will be the part of the terrain that it's also a little bit wet so we give it here math node we add to this value and we use this the maximum value here you can see that we have a complete black on the water and we will have a transition there that we can adjust with this number you can also add a so we have something more like usable there or else we will have to go to super small numbers to adjust that okay and now we will use this as our factor this will be the roughness of the land so quite rough and this will be the roughness of the water and we will also add a an HDRI here you can adjust the level of the water you can adjust how far the roughness goes there and here uh, you can adjust the size of um, uh, how much the range of the terrain goes if you prefer something more flat maybe and that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next video